Hey there Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Aquarius, this is going to be your March 19th through the 31st reading. Um, we're going to take a look at just about everything. Um, this is general, a general reading. I can't even speak today. So we'll take a look. When I was meditating on your energy, I was seeing the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like there's wealth coming in for you i feel like you're building wealth okay but i also feel like you're very uh independent you're working on gaining more of that independence you're working on being self-sufficient okay and you're actively working on this so the nine of pentacles beautiful okay let's go ahead and get into your reading let's see what else comes out here Okay, and if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If this doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your moon rising and Venus. Okay, I have those on the playlist. Okay, and I will attach that link at the end. So, if you're interested, make sure to take a look at it. At the end, I'm also going to pick a angel number. So, stay tuned till the end to see what angel number is coming out for you okay okay so we have wow the three of swords the fool the two of pinnacles the ten of cups beautiful we have the tower and the ace of wands at the bottom, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so here's the thing, Aquarius. I feel like you are kind of surrounding yourself by family. You're surrounding yourself by people who love you. And there may be some kind of celebrations. There may be some kind of get-togethers. Um, for some of you, this also may be someone familiar coming back from the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be an ex. But um, I feel like it's someone familiar coming in from the past. It may be an old friend, a friend of a friend, you know, someone that you familiarize yourself with. Okay, and I feel like this is very unexpected since it's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, um, <clears throat> so let's get into this. Okay, Aquarius, I feel like in the recent past, I feel like, you know, there was some kind of heartbreak, but I feel like you are healing. Look how this heart is being bandaged. This is the after tarot. So this is something that's already happened. And the swords have fell, fell away from your heart. And now, you know, the heart is bandaged and you're healing. You're in that healing process. Okay, so I feel like this is something that you're recovering from. This is something that you, you know, you're no longer going through that immersed pain, but now you're healing. Okay, you're recovering. You're looking for a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start. You know, you may be, you know, needing to take some kind of leap of faith. Or setting new priorities, you know, weighing your options, seeing where you want to go, go to next, okay? Whether this is, you know, something that broke your heart from a job, love, you know, just life in general, you know, life happens, you know? So I feel like you're recovering and you're looking for this new beginning. This new beginning is on the way and you'll be weighing your options, You'll be making plans to what you want to do next, where you want to go, you know, the people you want to be around. Okay, I think that's the reason why that card came out with someone familiar. Maybe, you know, you're, you've posted something on social media and now they're like, oh, hey, you know, how are you doing? Um, we'd like to get together. You know, it's been such a long time since I've seen you. You know, something like that. <clears throat> but I feel like, you know, you're actively seeking your happiness, Aquarius. You're looking for those happy moments, that happy space, uh, that familiar place that brings you joy and peace. Okay? And I feel like, you know, that's causing a lot of change within you. Now, 
I, I keep telling you, you know, don't always fear this tower. This tower is not always a bad thing because it means that there's changes. There's internal changes that you may not see coming, but I feel like the external changes are going to be more obvious because, you know, you're working through some things. You're finding your happiness. And this tower, it not only means change, but it also means freedom. Okay, so you may be being set free from a situation. Um, maybe you're freeing yourself from that heartbreak and you are actively recovering because you have a lot of cards here about something new. Look at this. We have the Fool and the Ace of Wands. This is both very new energy. This is a new fresh start taking a leap of faith, being naive in the place where you're going, you know, just following where the road leads you, okay? Not necessarily knowing the destination, but trusting that you're going the right direction, okay? And the Ace of Wands, this is very creative energy, but it's also adapting to the place that you're at. Okay, so I feel like this new beginning, I feel like there's a lot of adaptation going on here. I feel like you're adapting to this new venture, this new life, this new uh, situation that you're in. You're working through things. You're becoming more passionate with the things that make you happy. And you're letting go of the things that don't feel good. Okay, so... I feel like this is really, really a beautiful reading, uh, Aquarius. So I'm kind of liking where this is going. We're going to go ahead and clarify uh, these cards for you and see what else comes out. Okay. So for the, for the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay. For the full card, we have the King of Cups. For the Two of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Wands. If you're interested in love, there may be love coming in for you, okay? For the uh, Ten of Cups, we have the Five of Cups. For the Tower, we have the Moon. And for the uh, Ace of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we have the Four of Pentacles at the bottom. So I feel like, you know, you're balancing things out. You may be working on your finances, but I feel like this is an energy that you are protecting yourself from things that just don't feel good. You're protecting yourself from um, negative energies, from, you know, people invading your space. That's what I'm getting, okay? Um, so I feel like that Four of Pentacles is you focusing on you and your needs and protecting your energies from things that just don't belong there, okay? Okay, with the Three of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're actively working on this recovery. You, you may be immersing yourself in your job or, you know, just doing something that you're, you've been working on for a while. You may be just basically working on your heart chakra, on healing, on, you know, focusing on yourself. But I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles energy, you're actively working, okay? With the Fool and the King of Cups, I feel like there's someone coming through here. If you're open to love, I feel like this is someone who's coming in that is, you know, due to this fresh start, due to this direction change, due to this shift that you're making, you know, I feel like this King of Cups is coming in and he's coming in to support, to nurture, to show kindness and gratitude. Okay, so I, I feel like, you know, if you are open to love, I feel like love is on the way. If it's not love that you're seeking, I feel like this is going to be something that you're going to just immerse yourself in. You are going to just start doing something that you really, really, really enjoy doing. Something that is going to give you gratification and uh, a feeling of joy and peace. 
okay? With this Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, I feel like you're actively searching. You're actively searching for what is going to bring you meaning. You're, you're looking through those options, what you want to do next. And like I said, if you're open to love, I feel like, you know, you are very passionate at this moment. You're actively, you know, in search of this. You're fearless. You're bold. You're assertive. Okay, if it's not love that you're looking for, I feel like there's something that you're becoming very passionate about. You are being very assertive. You're being bold and fearless in pursuing what this is, because I feel like, you know, you're making plans and now you want to put those plans into action. And the Queen of Wands, let me tell you, the Queen of Wands, oh my gosh. She is the one to get things started. She is very innovative. She's bold. She's daring. She's fearless. You know, she gets the job done. She's that mom on steroids. You know, they can do 50 things at one time. So I feel like if this is the energy that you are pursuing, wow, look out because you are out to get what it is that you deserve and you're not backing down okay so that's beautiful energy i like that for you aquarius okay with the the ten of cups and the five of cups i feel like you're pursuing your happiness aquarius you're pursuing things that make you happy you're finding your peace you're finding your joy and you're letting go of these things that you know bring you down or are just like a, a bummer for you. I, I don't know why I'm getting that word bummer, but yeah, we'll go with it. Um, but I feel like, you know, there are things that you are releasing. You're letting go of. You're cutting things out to bring you more peace, more happiness, more calm. Okay? So I feel like that's very beautiful. This is really, really a beautiful reading. I'm really enjoying this reading. Aquarius, because I feel I can kind of sense the direction that you're going. Okay, with this tower, we have the, the moon. So I feel like, you know, once this tower unfolds, all these changes, I feel like, you know, you, you're not really knowing what the outcome is going to be, but things are slowly being revealed to you. You know, you are going down the path of the unknown at the moment uh, maybe it's some place that you've never been a situation you've never been in but i feel like there are new things that you are uncovering because of these changes that are being made because of this freedom that you now feel okay so i feel like there's a lot of things that are going to be revealed to you that are not yet revealed and i feel like it's going to and i, I kind of get a sense aquarius that you are truly finding your voice finding yourself for the first time okay so i feel like this is a huge discovery um you're discovering yourself you're discovering where you are meant to be maybe what profession you are meant to be what you are meant to do your life purpose okay and i feel like those things are being discovered at this moment and you're you're actively pursuing these things okay with the ace of wands we have the ten of pentacles now we already had the ten of cups so i feel like there's a lot of joy coming here there's a lot of joy coming from this fresh start from adapting to your situation this is love abundance and being overjoyed okay having everything that you need at this moment not wanting for nothing um this is also um prosperity and you know the feeling of being the feeling of being worth it you know that's not exactly the word that i was looking for but um i, I feel like you're you're finding 
you're finding out the reason why you went through the things that you went through because the struggles that you went through are leading you to this moment okay happiness joy being fulfilled having what you need not needing what you want you know and i i feel like it's it's all leading to that moment okay um, let's go ahead and take a look at an outcome for Aquarius. Give me an outcome, please, Spirit. Give me a message. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Wow. And the Magician. Oh, my gosh. Look at what we have on the bottom. The Ace of Cups. Beautiful energy. This is a new beginning. You're finding yourself. You're loving yourself more. You're feeling your worth, your confidence. And this is beautiful. This is truly beautiful. Like I said, if you're open to love, I feel like love is on the way. Uh, you have the, the Ace of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like this is going to be very passionate very loving very caring you're going to have a very supportive partner okay so with the five of pentacles now look this is the after tarot so they're leaving this place where they were feeling lack where they was feeling left out where they felt like they were out in the cold they're leaving this place now so i feel like that's what you're doing you're leaving this space of not feeling like you're enough feeling like you're left out in the cold like you don't have enough you're feeling um like you're lacking something in your life and i feel like you're becoming more spiritual there's there's something that's divinely guiding you into this period of creating something new creating a brand new start creating or manifesting something that's going to be great okay i feel like you're you're bringing that down to earth you are creating and you have all the resources that you need to create a beautiful project or a beautiful life you know whatever that is that you're creating i feel like you have everything you need to create this because you are divinely guided there's something spiritual that's working uh, behind the scenes okay so I, I feel like if you're worrying at the moment i feel like there's no need if you feel like you know where is this going to come from okay it's going to be provided ask and you will receive okay so i feel like something great is happening for you at this moment um at the end of march aquarius and i feel like you know all you need to do is to put in the work and see what unfolds okay let's go ahead and get a moonology card for Aquarius and I'm sorry my stomach is growling I need to get me something to eat okay so what moonology do we have for Aquarius we have a new romantic cycle begins and that's exactly what I told you it's coming Aquarius if you're looking for love that new romantic cycle is coming okay if you're not looking for love and you're already attached that just means that something is becoming more passionate. Something is going to the next level. Okay, so maybe you've been arguing. Maybe you've been in conflicts. Um, this new cycle just means that there's going to be more calmness, more care, more support, more, more love in the situation. Okay, so Aquarius, the answers you need are coming. So a lot more answers are going to be revealed to you. Things are going to become more clear. The path that you need to take. Um, because you're definitely on a path. We've, we have the full card and, you know, the Ace of Wands. So you're definitely pursuing this new beginning. Oh, and we also have that Ace of Cups. So it's going to be something that you enjoy. Something that you love. Okay. So let's get a manifestation monology. Let's see what's going on. 
Okay, speak your world into being. Manifest. Yes, that's that magician energy, okay? Um, speak good things to yourself. Speak positivity. Uh, be kind to yourself. Uh, be careful not to say negative words, negative things, because the, that negativity is absorbed and it, it reflects what is being manifested, okay? And we have focus on the positive, okay? Just like what I was just saying, keep a, a positive mindset. Keep those negative thoughts out of your mouth, Aquarius, okay? We also have first quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. You're powerful. You're actually more powerful than you know, Aquarius. So step into that power. You know, you're, you may be feeling a shift at this moment. And, you know, step into that powerful Aquarius self because you have the ability. Okay? Oh, my goodness. See? Spirit is letting you know, hey, remain positive. Don't let that negative stuff in there. Okay? Remain positive. We also have it be assertive. Take action where it needs to be taken. Don't just sit by and, you know, watch things happen. Be the creator of those things, okay? And if you have a question, Aquarius, the Spirit is letting you know that answer is yes. Yes, it's time to take action, okay? So that's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. So now, Aquarius, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get you an angel number. And we're going to see what comes out for you. Okay? So let's get an angel number for Aquarius. An angel number, please. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Okay. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Aquarius. <laughs> Okay, so we have 111, destiny. You are on a destined path, Aquarius. Um, this may be a new life purpose that you're walking into. But this says, follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Listen, lean in, and follow your soul, okay? And your affirmation, Aquarius, life is always happening for me. I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good, okay? Beautiful energy, Aquarius. I really enjoyed your reading. I certainly hope that this helps. And uh, if this reading resonates, Aquarius, please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads um if this doesn't resonate all the way of course take a look at your moon rising your venus sign if you know that um, i have them uploaded in your march playlist so they're easy to find i'll go ahead and attach it and until your next reading aquarius many blessings to you love and light